Hello and welcome to the Patchula software tutorial. This tutorial will show you how easy it is to patch very large matrix applications, for example for LEDs or other fixtures. The Patchula will create you matrices of fixtures in seconds and will save you a lot of time. In order to start creating your patch file, simply hit the M button in the top bar. Inside the window, which will pop up, you can select the fixtures you would like to use for your patch. The library consists of Traxon, GLEG, Schnickschnack, Colokinetics, Lagotronics or Kotko. But of course you can use any kind of fixture with generic entries inside the library. Therefore you can use a generic desk channel, dimmer bar, RGB or RGBW faders and the RGB bars in horizontal or vertical mode. For this example we will use the Traxon Moodlight 64. The next step is the orientation. You can choose the orientation of 0 degrees, 90, 180 or 270 degrees depending on the orientation of your fixture. The eView style menu entry determines whether the eView, the EQ visualization tool, should use the tile or the wash 64. Inside the size box you can choose the width and the height of your metric system. Please keep in mind that the patchler will always count in fixture units, not in pixels. The screen ID is needed in order to separate two different metric systems. So if you would like to use more than one matrix at the same time, the matrices will start with different screen IDs. After you click the next button, you can choose the base address of this matrix, the start address on the first universe of this matrix and the highest allowed DMX address in each universe of this matrix. The layout box gives you very powerful options regarding the layout of your matrix system. You can enter the origin where the DMX addressing should start. This can be the top left, the bottom left, the bottom right or the top right corner. For this example patch here we will choose the upper left corner. The primary addressing direction lets you choose whether the patch should follow a horizontal or vertical patching. Which means that the patch will follow a horizontal or vertical line at first and then go to the next line. The snake mode lets you invert the addressing direction for every second line. The snake mode allows you to have very short cables between the last unit of one line and the first unit of the following line. As we are almost done with our patching, we can hit the finish button. What we see now is our first patch file with a metric system of Traxon Moodlight 64 with 4 units in height and 4 units in width. As one Traxon Moodlight 64 has 192 DMX channels, we can see that the first unit in a DMX universe starts with the address 1 and the second unit with 193. For this example we did not activate the snake mode. As a result the first line of fixtures starts in universe 1 with address 1, goes to universe 1 with address 193, universe 2 with address 1, universe 2 with address 193 and the next line of fixtures begins with universe 3 address 1. If the snake mode would have been activated the universe number 3 address 1 would be on the right side instead of the left, in order to keep the cableways very short. As our first patch file is ready now, we would like to save it. Simply hit the save button and give your patch file a name. For this video tutorial, I will call it videotutorial.patch. There are a lot more options inside the patchula. You can obviously zoom in or zoom out by hitting the zoom in or zoom out buttons. But what would really help us here is how the cabling is done. So in order to see the cabling from each DMX device to the tracks in Moodlight 64, just hit the small button with the cables on it. So if you zoom out or in you can see every DMX universe and its way to the tracks in Moodlight 64 panels. This is extremely helpful as you can print out this view and give it to your technician. Please keep in mind that what you see on your screen is the front view. So the patchler will always show you the front view of your patching. You can find out which fixture is attached to which universe by following the green cabling or by simply comparing the DMX universe of the fixtures with the DMX universe at the bottom. If you have a metric system which is a bit bigger, it might be disturbing to see all cables at the same time. 
By hitting the button of the show only cables for activated universe, you can see only one cable going from one DMX universe to a fixture. Another option for showing the cabling is to show the cables by DMX addressing instead of position. Activating this option will turn the cables into red color instead of green. Another powerful option is to show the dip switch settings for each unit. This makes the building up of a metric setup very easy, even for unexperienced people. One of the big pros of the patcher is that you can print out this complete setting. You can give the plan featuring the cabling and the dip switch setting to a technician and he will be able to build up this matrix, even without any experience before. Another powerful feature is to change the DMX address of one single fixture afterwards the whole patching was done already. By clicking on the move edit time mode button, you can click with the left mouse button on any fixture and by hitting the right mouse button you can set the properties for this selected tile. Quite similar to the setup for the whole matrix, we can now change the base address and the start address of each selected tile. Let's say we have a situation where the first two fixtures have the wrong DMX address because the dip switch setting is wrong. Then we can simply change the address of the fixtures by software. This will solve the problem and save us a lot of time as we don't have to unhang the fixture. The patcher also shows you any mistakes you made by giving in wrong DMX addresses, by turning them into red. This shows you how easy it can be to change the DMX address by software. I would like to use this patch file inside the EQ programmer later. So what I will do now is change back the DMX address settings to their origin values. The first fixture in the upper left corner, A1, will get back the address 1 in universe 1. The second fixture, which is called B1 in the first line, will get back its origin DMX value of 193 in the first DMX universe. In order to show preview or print out the plan, simply hit the show preview or print buttons in the top bar. If you have a situation where you might need more than one metric system and you would like to patch another one, simply hit the add button in the top bar. There will open up a new window which is called section 2 and in this window you can create another matrix which will be saved as section 2. As we do not need two sections for this example I will delete it. Thank you for watching the tutorial for the patchler. Copyright by www.eq.tv